this is Ronin. Hello and welcome back to the channel and to this particular mini-series where I play Door Kickers 2 while employing real life-esque CQB tactics. I say real life-esque is because I've never been in a real firefight, which I count as a win, but I've played enough uh, airsoft and also other milsim games where my experience, uh, if you can call it uh, experience uh, is proving quite useful so far. This is not the first video in the series and if you are new to the channel feel free to watch this uh, but if you'd like to go uh, mission by mission here is a link to uh, the first mission I've ever recorded for this series uh, and if you've been here before please feel free to stay and watch. So uh, let me introduce you to the squad. We have Kefka who has a squad machine gun we have Squall, because Squall, everyone loves Squall, Final Fantasy X, Renoir, Final Fantasy VIII, we have Sid, who's everywhere, so that's why he needs to be in every single mission. Uh, we have Safer, uh, who is in Final Fantasy VIII, and Bonin, who is in every Final Fantasy, as far as I'm concerned. But uh, let's go through the plan. So we have two structures here that we need to clear and our mission is to eliminate all terrorists so as you can see we ram through the gates here uh, so we caught them by surprise uh, meaning that they have well kind of probably uh, need a change of underwear but uh, throughout this game and throughout this particular mission I would like to employ the three uh, concepts of CQB which is a speed surprise and violence uh, of action or controlled violence of action and because we don't have any civilians as far as the brief, I'm going to be pretty uh, liberal with uh, the application of my, I guess, violent sense. So anyway, so what we have is two structures and a bit of an open space. So I would like to think of it as division of this uh, map, uh, this particular area uh, of operation uh, into two, one here and another one here. So I would like to contain two. I don't want to move too far here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to contain this area while I'm working through this structure. And then once it's clear, uh, we're going to move uh, and clear out this garage. So uh, my idea is to have Kefka, oh, have Kefka uh, 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 running containment. So we have no nasty surprises coming from this window or this door and we have Ronin here who happened to uh, uh, exit the right hand side door uh, we're gonna and together with Cypher and Sid we're I'm gonna hope to clear uh, this uh, not clear sorry contain this area uh, to make sure that we have no nasty surprises coming this way while we are working on the problem in this particular structure We'll have Renoa stationed here, uh, making sure that this room is, uh, nobody comes out of this room. But once this room is entered and we are clear, I'm gonna uh, collapse her to, uh, to go together with Squall uh, and uh, uh, to end, uh, join the stack. Actually, I'm gonna kind of rework this. Uh, Reno, you're gonna join Squall with a stack, there will be two, nobody's going alone, and then Sid is gonna come here and then wait until this is clear, and then uh, Sid is gonna join the stack, so we'll have three, oh, hello, three people in uh, the building, so we can go on uh, further and clear the structure. We have one known threat, which is right here, uh, this Grunt Insurgent, who has a beard, oh, I'm so jealous of that beard. Uh, but this is my plan and once we go room by room so once it's clear this area is a little bit of a tricky situation so I might once these rooms are clear I might actually go and make sure that uh, we can go from the south of this door and make sure this kitchen is clear um, but again we'll see what the cards are dealt to us let's get cracking I don't like the fact that they're silent. You can just shoot. I think we're weapons clear. Nope. No controls. Okay, I'm gonna try to be better with controls. So, okay, I'm assuming that Kefka is gonna take care of this little gentleman. Renoa, you are. Actually, no, Renoa, you are moving here and uh, containing this. 
this area. You are, uh, as soon as you're done with this threat here, I'm going to move you here to make sure that no one else is appearing. Actually, let's stop and see what you do with it first. Okay. So, um, so far so good. Uh, we have five seconds of action and already one, two, th one, two, I think three or two insurgents down here and one here. Let's see where the fire is coming from. Okay, so it's coming from this area somewhere here. So while this is spy, uh, he's spying uh, this off. This is contained. I'm not worried about this. Um, I'm gonna open this door and see what we can gauge. Okay, so because we had uh, Sid waiting uh, for something to happen, opening the door was the right call. Because obviously while he's opening the door, he uh, he can't deal with any issues that may be coming our way. So Sid did his job. I'm gonna let it breathe for another four or five seconds. Okay, so we still have fire going on here. Um, I'm, yeah, uh, so they are aware of us in this area. And I'm, I'm gonna assume it's from around this area here. So I'm gonna keep running here while I'm paying off as much as possible with safer. Like this. So it's not coming from anywhere beyond this northern side here. Keep eyeing. Okay, we got him. He's right there. I'm gonna see if I can lob the grenade there. As in under barrel. Okay, this should work. Ooh, okay, we missed. Reload, let's try again. Okay, well, we caught him. I think he got freaked out by the uh, action going and he may want to exit this area because, to be honest, it's a bit of a trap for him. And we may have got him. Let's just see. Once the smoke is clear, I'm gonna pie off a little. Oh, hello. I'm gonna pie it off. No, he's still alive. wasted effort so we'll keep where we are for now we know that there is a known threat here we need to make sure that it's dealt with so I might actually move safer closer in there's a grenade who threw a grenade is injured okay I think we have someone here all right we're in a tricky situation so what I might actually do I'm gonna throw the flashbang here and while it's Flash out. we're pretty lucky there so let's see if we can okay that was dealt with and then let's go this way yep I got the guy who got a grenade so it was pretty dirty and we we're pretty lucky, but uh, the grenade is a real threat. We're gonna tactically reload. This guy is good. Let's load another one of those little babies here. Okay, anyone who was anything must have met their fate there. I can't be too sure. But I think safer you've done your job. I'm gonna move you. Oh, I can't move you here because we have some stuff going on here. So if, before you move, I'm gonna drone it. No, no, no. Okay. So I'm not worried about this. I think everyone here is dead because we had a whole barrel uh, blowing up. So while Ronin is uh, covering this approach uh, here. You 
are going to view and see if this room is open. Yeah, it was a good thing that I didn't go through. Okay, uh, Safer, you did your job. Let's move you back here. No. Oh, hello. You're gonna get behind the barrels. You have some cover uh, behind the barrels. Uh, Ronin, you are injured as well, so you will stay put and keep containment. And I'm going to now go internal. This room is clear, so I don't have to worry about it. Okay, let's buy it off. It's clear, it's clear. We are creating uh, cross coverage here. Now I'm fairly confident that uh, this area is clear. We have nothing here. So there's no need for him to, uh, for Kafka to stay here. I'm gonna move him further up and see if we can maybe find some kind of cover. No. Nope. He's gonna keep covering this. As in containing this particular door. Okay, let's move internal. We have done so far okay. Uh, we have Sid, we have Squall. I'm worried about this area. We can just ignore this. We can just approach it as a wall. So my idea is to move one here. We are limited on resources. One here, one will be covering this direction. Another one will be covering this direction. So let's go. Actually, not move. let's move him a little bit away from the actual corner. Okay, let's pie it off a little bit. Okay, we're clear. There may be somebody uh, hiding there. So I would like to get Reno on and we just clear this. are a little strange to me so let's hmm. yeah let's put slap charges on this I know it's a bit unconventional good thing I did okay good angling as well so we had two insurgents here let's go and buy it off a little bit okay this angle is clear gonna and go more I'm worried about this part so let's uh, might as well open the door we're limited on resources here and while we while we're doing this Ronan you are gonna plate this this uh, exit exits I guess so I'm sorry you're pl plating it let's open the door gently okay it's clear just for the sake of it, I'm pretty sure it's alright, but we need to make sure to... Yep, uh, points of domination are taken. Uh, this room is clear. So now, we have this area here is completely empty of any um, hostiles. So we're gonna collapse Renoa to join Ronin, and you, my friend, are going this way as well. Okay, so I'm not a very big fan of standing in front of here, to be honest, because it creates a fatal, uh, well, this is a fatal funnel here, and if this door opens and somebody just opens up on us, we are completely screwed, but I have to clear this uh, door, so let's see what we have, not door, sorry, um, this um, uh, room, so my and we can't even stack here, so really, I have very little... Do you have anything to... 
Okay, it's gonna be quite risky. So, Sid, you're gonna put your door charge in there. Placing charge. You're being covered, so that's okay. You're gonna come back here. Ronan, you're going here. And we basically, the reason why I moved them beyond this point is beyond this point uh, is because if somebody opens up on us, we are screwed. We don't have anywhere to cover. You are gonna high low this. Let's go. Let her breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. You are, we're gonna go, I'm just gonna go and throw. frag in there to be honest. You can stand up now. Let's go log a frag so no one survives this. I wonder if we need to. Okay, let's just go to flashbang. And then Ronin, you're just gonna Flash run out. in. And just make sure that this room is clear. Okay, this room is clear. So, <clears throat> it was a bit messy, but it's a very tricky situation. So now, we're gonna let her breathe for another four seconds, creating kind of a cross coverage here. Okay, whoever has, yep. Uh, um, Squall, you have a camera, so we are going to move you here and use a spy cam. So we have one insurgent here, 100%. So, ooh, hello. No, we are moving. No, wait. So it moved, and I'm assuming into this little area door, which is actually kind of lucky for us, because now we have one guy here. So all we have to do, as I said, let's make sure to trap him. So what? Now we know he's here. Uh, the only way he can go is this way. I'm going to place someone here, kind of plating this. And Ronin, you're going to go here. Not Ronin, it's a squall. No, he's completely exposed. Let's go this way. While we're doing this, we have our... We're going to wall breach. Screw this. Placing charge. So, Kefka, you're gonna go back. Let her breathe. Three, two, one. Okay. Kefka, you are not moving. Two, one. Okay. Let's go again. No, you, actually, not you. Spy camera again. He has not moved. But now we know what it gave us is because it killed, like it killed anyone here, and whoever was here would have been uh, affected. So what we need to do is to somehow gain entrance. Ah, I wish I had blown it in a different way, but hey, what can you do? Let's. Let's retreat you here. What I'm gonna do actually is I'm going to hide here. And I'm gonna just gently open the door. Okay, so this room is still a problem for us. That's a known threat, so we have to take care of it. But I still have no idea what we have here, or what we have here. Although most people are most likely kind of eliminated from here at this point. So let's throw a flashback. Okay, flashes out. Button hooking, making sure that we're clearing out corners, not corners, our angles. Let's go. You go. Holding. This room 
is clear. Now we have the toilet. But before we do, I want to make sure that this is all clear and we still have a locked door here and two windows here. So for that, I'm going to move. Okay, so now there's no angle here, so we're good geometrically speaking. So let's move here. I'm gonna have to flash it. Okay, that's why we had uh, Kefka because we knew that someone may be going through this particular door and that's what he did, he did his job. Obviously he took the shot, but to be honest, if I didn't react, it would have resulted in the same uh, thing. So, technically speaking, because this is now clear, we can now collapse it and clear this area and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, before I do anything, like this. No, actually, uh, so let's go here. Now, we are covering this door, this particular entrance. We have uh, Rinoa containing this, this entrance here, and this entrance is Kefka is doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go bring uh, Safer and uh, uh, Ronin into this corner and make sure that this is clear, because this building is now okay for us Oof, okay that was very unfortunate oh well okay it was a bad angle here but I should have done it earlier basically but it was a good call it's just done too late and there you go that was a very good call for me so um, yeah should have moved earlier that's a lesson uh, we need to be again keep aggression on as we are going through this um, Kind of map and I guess any kind of CQB situation All right, so now we only have this little structure and luckily <laughs> I say luckily, but we don't have any wall breaches. Oh, I used the wall breach in the most uh, Useless situation, but hey anyway uh, so we have this wall, so let's uh, stack and see what we can do. So we'll keep our assault team. He's still okay. Kefka, what I'm planning to do with you is you're gonna pie this off. Okay, that's exactly what you were there for. So uh, Kefka is again running containment here. I'm gonna move Ronin to this position to create a bit of a cross coverage. Okay, it's clear. Uh, this hard corner was actually separate, it's empty. So now we only have this area that we have no idea what's happening. Uh, and then the rest of this particular building. So let's do what we do best. Ronin, you're gonna throw a flashbang. You are, as soon as it's done, you are going to pie. Uh, by the way, the reason why I'm pieing so much outside of the, in, uh, without entering the building is um, I prefer to be less dynamic, but more safe. So we'll do as much as possible outside of the room and then go through the threshold. That's the only reason why I do this. You're gonna go on alpha. Alpha, go. Good call. So, if we were just to run to the room, which was in my last video, we would have been uh, lit up by this guy who lies in a very beautiful manner. And now we only have this uh, hard corner. Uh, so, in order to make sure that we are taking advantage of the situation, you are going to take points of domination here. And you are coming. And you actually, I want you to come here to make sure that everything is okay. So, fairly clear. Nobody's hiding here. I'm not sure if it's even possible. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to pie this off with Ronin a little bit. Okay, control. 
controls failed me. So Ronin, while you are holding this, because the reason why I'm plating him here is because whoever is going to run this way are going to meet, um, I guess, his barrel here. But he's not just standing there because we have Rinoa, hopefully. Nope. Yeah, we have uh, Squall, who's going to place the charge on this hill area. We don't need to... Does he have any charges? Yes, he does. I wonder if we can... So let's assess. Uh, we have no flashbangs. We have two flashbangs, so you're going to be uh, two man. We have one flashbang. You're going to be support. So chose my team wisely and then you have no flashbangs but you do have uh, stinger grenades that they throw out non-lethal um, shrapnel that stuns the enemy so it kind of works as a flashbang but uh, a little less effect so let's open this door my friend you are oh hello no nope. you're going to do this and pie it off again, doing the same thing, creating a better better geometry here. And then Sid, you're coming here. We know you're coming here. And I guess we're gonna have to go dynamic with this one. So you are gonna throw flashbang here. And while we're moving. Well, once it's out, you're gonna move to this position here. And then we have Sid moving here. Yeah, we can't cross this line because I'm too afraid of what's happening this way. Flash out! Okay, move. Okay, there's definitely someone else there. Final flashbang. Let's increase. Let's improve our situation, and then we flash it here, so no one is alive. Flash out. Okay, let's go. You're gonna but no, you're going this way. You have battle situation awareness this way, and we know you're coming here. Okay, making sure that. This whole room is actually clear. And there we are. And that's how it's done. It was a little more um, precise. Uh, we've host, uh, we've post pacified uh, 23 hostiles, so let's see how it's going. So there you go. As soon as we entered, we got people uh, responding to what is happening. And uh, you can see that I was like thinking where the fire was coming from. And we uh, got to um, insertion this way. So here I was thinking what to do. A couple of failed shots. Yeah, it's a failed shot. Try it again. I guess people can be here. And we still killed someone here, which I didn't notice. That was good. Now it cleared me to uh, press forward a little bit further. Yeah, we got a grenade, yeah. I don't even know where it came from. Let's have a look. Oh, there it is. Missed it completely. It's very lucky because it landed right here. Uh, let's get the markers out. It landed right here, which kind of partially blocked uh, Sid and only some of it because uh, usually frag grenades have a lethal um, uh, range. That's uh, about 1.5 meters. And the rest of it, of course, it can still harm you and potentially be lethal to you, but um, uh, it was very lucky and we had this pillar that saved his life. So we're very lucky here. Holding. Flash out. So, buying it off and shooting. Yep. Who needs grenades when you have bullets? And that's another good way of doing it. Yep. We loved it for a good measure. 
Yep, now it's contained. And uh, yeah, you could see that I had to move uh, safer because uh, for some reason I uh, screwed up with controls. We needed to make sure that this uh, let's marks, uh, this room is clear, so I did that. Now we're prepping to go internal. Holding. Yeah, here again we have cross coverage, but this is an L-shaped uh, corridor which I'm, uh, I don't want to be entering without clearing some of it. Basically, effectively creating a wall um, uh, on our uh, rear. So there's no way I would enter this room without uh, any rear support, so the only way I could do it is kind of risking it through the window. Placing charge. Which worked out really well for us. And they missed, because they got freaked out, I guess. So uh, we pied off most of this room, uh, and then the rest of it I kind of had to... Holding, holding. Yeah, I had to plate it to protect the rear to make sure that this room is clear. So you see it's clear, and we're going. Now we only had uh, the room in the north, we collapsed the stack, and Place while a, uh, a squall was protecting us, we placed the charge, we made sure that uh, we created a hole in the wall basically, <laughs> to make sure that we could enter. Not sure what happened there, I think I was discussing something. Yeah, we high loaded just to make sure that we have two barrels pointing in the same direction. And now... Flash out. Flashed it, prepped it, and now it's time to go. One room clear, it's this tiny, tiny room. Okay, so the next one with the kitchen, <laughs> which is pretty tricky. Uh, we have an uh, amazing camera that no one can see. I was pretty freaked out there, but he didn't go to the room. Oh, to, through the door, he just hid in a... Um, closet uh, preparing to ambush us but because we knew exactly where he was in retrospect uh, to be honest I should have uh, blew, blown up this door so it would have been much more effective but hey Placing charge. I didn't know what I, uh, I was dealing with but again I forgot kind of the concept Ready where you deal with known threats first and uh, I kind of chose to deal with an unknown threat first, which is just makes no sense, obviously, as you can imagine. So, because I didn't, we didn't do what I wanted to do, I had to check. Well, no, we didn't do what I wanted to do. I did what I shouldn't have done. No, oh, hello. Um, I had to resort to kind of being a little bit more sneaky and uh, wasting a flashbang. The entrance should have been better. Um, uh, uh, Reno should have looked south first. But again, live and learn. Okay, angles here are very tricky because of those windows. Flash out. We had to flash it. Okay. So again, uh, we had uh, Kefka, he did his job here. Now we are completely in control of this building. That was just unlucky, to be honest. He got injured a little bit. We should have moved my stack here further because there were actually two insurgents. Yep, Kafka did his job. Containment Pro. I wish I had some wall breaches. We could have just entered through here. Alpha, go. gentle uh, opening of the door. I'm not actually a big fan of kicking the door because it it creates too much noise and uh, um, I would like to be in control of what's happening. Flash out. This is it. There you go. So uh, he was probably trying to, I don't know if it's actually possible, but there was a, a Dushka here, so he wanted to uh, potentially man it and uh, light us up as we are entering the room. 
thank you very much for watching. There was a pretty clean run. I'm quite happy with it. It was more deliberate uh, than usual, which uh, again, it's a learning process for me. I had to learn that. If you like what you saw, please share, like, and subscribe. Uh, if you have any comments about this video or any other videos I uh, posted, or if you have any suggestions for new videos, please uh, let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Over and out.